President Obama announced his jobs plan last night, but a local jobs dialogue has also been going on in Minnesota. Governor Mark Dayton is touring the state to gather the best ideas on job creation. Dayton sat down with a panel of community leaders in Brainerd today to learn more about the local economy. Becky Parker tells us what they said are the major issues facing the community. A sampling of the Brainerd Lakes community sat in Chalberg Theater at Central Lakes College to meet with Governor Mark Dayton. It was one stop on Dayton's tour to gather ideas and information for a state job summit October 25th. You know, I want to find out what uh, I can do as governor and what uh, my administration can do to support local economic development efforts and put more people to work and take advantage of this wonderful place to live. The Brainerd area has experienced slow economic recovery with particularly high unemployment and poverty rates. A panel representing education, technology, health care and economic development expressed their concerns and suggestions. Many on the panel expressed concern over a disconnect between education and employment, saying those students excel academically, they don't stick around for jobs. We are, we are somehow creating great kids who graduate and go on, but our best and our brightest are going on. They're getting the heck out of here because they don't see a future in brain. The skills of local young and unemployed people do not match up with the specific training needed to perform many local jobs. And that is a problem Governor Dayton has heard in other regions as well. Even in areas like this where we've got relatively high unemployment, there, there are businesses, uh, employers looking for, for workers. But there's, not, there's a mismatch between the skills that the unemployed have and the skills that these uh, employers are looking for. So that's one of the most valuable insights I've gained from, from these regional meetings. Local organizations have been trying to combat this problem by raising awareness of local jobs and their educational requirements. The Bridges Workforce Center sponsored a career fair at CLC earlier this year. And the Brainerd School District is piloting a project called Work Keys, a workforce readiness test through the ACT program. We hope that we can use our pilot and the knowledge gained, gained from that pilot this spring to perhaps affect the workforce development environment in high schools across the state of Minnesota. All of these insights and ideas will come together at the Governor's Job Summit in hopes to get Minnesota working again. Becky Parker, Lakeland News. Dayton's next summit is next Tuesday in Virginia, Minnesota. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.